That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm having read it. So, so you didn't know that you went through the door. I think I hit my watch. The grant and the outlay note resolution are budget amendment for school year 21 on the planning commission. All the budget is there, and I gave you the copy. Here's the resolution. I mean, it's, it's kind of complicated, but I don't know how to read that. Okay. Michael Bell. Bill Steele. Here. Keith Gibson. Here. James Greetsy. Here. Tom Turner. Here. Linda Miller. Here. Michael Walker. Here. I'd like to welcome each and every one of y'all out now. If you don't care, let's stand and get an indication. James, you want to lead us? Yes, sir. Father, well, thank you, Lord, for this very first prayer. This board to come together again, we say she'd be with each one, be with our visitors, be with the city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to have a chance to look at last month's amendment. If so, we have motions approval. Make a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Have any committee report? Court is report. In our general account, total checking account is $2,381,640.58. Savings account, general fund, $45,756.19. Restricted reserve account, number one, $23,132.96. General contingency fund, $1,376,462. Local government investment pool, $258.78. Our total checking accounts for the sewer account is $751,027.19. Hardship funds, $15,273.38. Depreciation fund, $1,301,154.08. Local government investment pools, $704.25. Our total checking account for the swimming pool is $29,595.41. Uh, next, I'd like to recognize uh, the board, introduce our new police officer, uh, Catherine. How you pronounce your last name? Metcalf. Metcalf. Uh, if you would stand up, and uh, I think she is the first full time officer in the history of this city we've ever had in our police department. So that's a great thing. She's a good officer, and uh, we're very, very fortunate to get her. Our full time here at the city. If the board would introduce yourself to her, and uh, that's the reason I asked her to come in. Mm -hmm. This is Keith Gibson. Keith Gibson. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I'm Tom Kern. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Miller, glad to have you. Thank you. Michael Walker. James Griffin. Of course, you know me. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say? I mean, we ought to give a speech from <laughs> Well, I'm, uh, I'm very excited for the opportunity to work here, and uh, I really appreciate it.
appreciate it. I, I do my best and do a good job for the city. Be safe, that's all I can say. Be safe. Thank you. That's a big honor for the woman sitting here too. It's a big honor. We don't have the whole business, do we? I guess they have resolution 20 563 the grant. Uh, what this is, I think, is uh, a grant we're applying for through the state. Hundred seventy thousand. Hundred seventy seven thousand three hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, no matching. No matching. So we need to pass the resolution twenty five sixty three. You want to read that, William? Absolutely. Uh, resolution number twenty five six three. Resolution of the governing body of the city of Churchill, Tennessee. Requesting funding through the governor's local government support grant. Whereas Tennessee Public Chapter Number 651, Title 3, <clears throat> Item 22, Items 10.33 through 34, establish the governor's local government support grants, which provide funding that the local governments may request. And whereas the city of Churchill is in need of funding for projects that meets all the requirements of Tennessee Public Chapter Number 651, Title 3, Item 22, Items 10.33 through 34. And whereas the city of Churchill is requesting $177,395 for a project in the spending category of road projects, and whereas it is agreed that this city will comply with the terms of the agreement prescribed by the State Department of Finance and Administration, requesting approval to proceed with this project, and whereas it will be necessary to budget a total of $177,395 in additional funds in the general fund. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the local legislative body of the city of Churchill requests that the State Department of Finance and Administration for an initial approval of this project to fund street repairs, upgrades, and maintenance in accordance with the provisions of Tennessee Public Chapter Number 651, Title 3, Item 22, Items 1033 through 34. A list of expenditures included in this project on behalf of the city is attached. Adopted this 19th day of May 2020 by the local legislative body of the city of Churchill, Tennessee. Let's close your board on the resolution 20 563. We have a motion to adopt. A motion to second. Second. Uh, I think it's part of the stimulus thing. It? No, sir, it's separate. Is it? Okay. Okay. Any more discussion? Call the roll, Dennis Steele? Aye. Keith Gibson? Yes. James Brixby? Yes. Tom Kern? Yes. Linda Miller? Yes. Michael Walker? Yes. Next, have resolution 20-564 outlay. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, next, we'll have a motion to adopt the resolution 20-564 outlay. Okay. Mr. Mayor, that's one of the longer resolutions. I'm more than happy to read that to the board. It's just the pleasure of the board. That's regarding the uh, outlay. Uh, For the upgrade to park? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mayor. That was uh, discussed at the last meeting. and. Uh, I had an opportunity to prepare that resolution. That was during our workshop. Did y'all remember? We have a motion to dismiss it. May I have so moved? Please. Second. Second. Discussion. Take a vote. Michael Bell. Dennis Steele. Aye. Keith Gibson. Yes. James Briggsby. Yes. Tom Kern. Yes. Linda Miller. Yes. Michael Walker. Yes. Next, I have a motion. Resolution 20 564. <coughs> to accept uh, the outline of the no move vision. With motion. Keith. Oh, Keith. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Second. Discussion. Vicky. Michael Bell. Dennis Steele. Aye. Keith Gibson. Yes. James Grigsby. Yes. Tom Kern. Yes. Linda Miller. Yes. Michael Walker. Yes. Next, I have orders 20 days 494 budget amendment. What this is is when we go over certain areas. Uh, we're going to move over with the budget amendment to keep our books clean. So, do we have a motion on orders 20 days 494? Would, would the board like me to read this one? Yeah, be, yeah go ahead. Ordinance number 20 494, an ordinance of the city of Churchill, Tennessee, amending the fiscal year 2019 2020 budget passed by ordinance number 19 of 492. Whereas the city of Churchill adopted fiscal year 2019-2020 budget by passage of ordinance number 19-492 on June 18, 2019, and whereas pursuant to the Tennessee State Constitution, 
Section 24 of Article 2, no public money shall be expended except pursuant to appropriations made by law and whereas pursuant to the Municipal Budget Law of 1982 as founded in the Tennessee Code Annotated Section 6, 59 the Board of Mayor and Alderman has the authority to authorize the city recorder to transfer money from one appropriation to another within the same fund and whereas expenditures for general government are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for administration are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for fire are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for code enforcement are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for highway and streets are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for solid waste are greater than anticipated and whereas expenditures for recreation are greater than anticipated and now therefore be it or ordained by the board of mayor and alderman of the city of churchill tennessee that changes be made to the fiscal year 2019 2020 appropriations as follows section one ordinance number 19492 is hereby amended by increasing general government expenditures by 375 dollars increasing administration expenditures by thirteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars increasing fire expenditures by forty eight thousand one hundred dollars increasing code enforcement expenditures by $1,000, increasing highways and streets expenditures by $308,150, increasing solid waste expenditures by $50,050, and increasing recreation expenditures by $3,725. Section two, the Board of Mayor and Alderman authorizes the city recorder to make said changes to the detailed accounting system. Section three, this ordinance shall take effect immediately upon final passage. What's the pleasure of board on 20 days 494 revenue amendment? What this is is we only had periodically one or two of these a year, and we held off on this one because we knew we were headed toward the end of our fiscal year. It's just cleaning our books up, it's part of what we do, and we overspent. Uh, the board knows a few items. The 300000 for street that was the pavement. No, sir, that's the splash pad to amend the budget. Oh, okay. The splash pad. Oh, okay. Okay. So that, that's where we're at. So we have to do this, keep our boots clean. So what's the pleasure of board on uh, 20 days, 494 motion? I'll make a motion. A motion or a second? Second. Discussion? Colorado? Michael Bell? Jim Steele? Aye. Keith Gibson, yes. James Christie, yes. Tom Kern, yes. Linda Miller, yes. Michael Walker. Yes. Next set of orders 20 days 495 five, fiscal year budget 2021. I'll be more than happy to read uh, all 15 or 20 pages if the board would I like to. You <laughs> <laughs> because um, the times are yeah, well, it, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, but if the board would like me to forego that, there'd need to be a motion. Yeah, mo most of this is our workshop. Everybody knows what we've done for this year's budget. So they yeah. have to make the move that we forego the reading. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Second. Discussion? Colorado Vicky. Michael Bell. Jim Steele. Aye. Matthew Gibson. Yes. James Creasy. Yes. Tom Kerr. Yes. Linda Miller. Yes. Michael Walker. Yes. Okay, do we have a motion for orders 20 495? Fiscal year budget 2021. We have motion. We have motion by second. Second. Discussion. Well, y'all may not have some, but I will before we vote. I just want to let the board know uh, we've had a fantastic year. It looks <coughs> like we're finishing up in the black with the $718,000 surplus. We really try to stay focused and really watch the people's money and that's a great thing. Uh, so if you add that and that stays true, we'll end up with the unassigned fund balance around $4 million unassigned. It's pretty good for a city. Uh, uh, and that's a good thing. And, and also to let you know, we look like it, we're gonna finish up in the black with the sewer around 177,000. So that's been a, a good thing too. So, no, that's part of it. Try to be a good steward for the taxpayer's money, and that's what we're here for. Uh, it's, a, it, it, it's a good thing. Of course, this requires two readings. The only thing in the 2021 budget 
in our workshop, just a reminder, buddy. We might have to do an amendment. We haven't found any bucket trucks yet. Yeah. So we'll have to do an amendment on that. And we've not hired anybody in recreation yet. And right now, as long as we're under scenario we're in, that's probably not gonna happen. And we've not hired a sewer person. So those three things we might have to come in the budget a little bit, but other than that, pretty good way to go, right? Yes, sir. I'll let you hang out. Yes, sir. So what about our equipment at the park? Is that would that come out of this? It will. Okay. Yep. It, it I will. think that's one of the best budget meetings that we've had yet. I think so too. I really do. It just went smooth. Yeah. Good. You know, we was able, uh, fortunate, we got a hit with an 8% increase on our health insurance. Yeah. The city was able to absorb that, which is a good thing. We were able to give a raise across the board. Yeah. We were able to upgrade and bring some people up that was on the lower end of the pay scale mm -hmm. and give them a little bit more money, which is fantastic. So, um, I appreciate you doing the work on that. Sure. And uh, we did, I, I really believe, <coughs> As long as I've been married, it's probably the best budget workshop we've had. And uh, we're proud of that. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's where we're at. You know, uh, we've got a request from the department for about 175000 We was able to do that. We had about 60000 uh, from outside organizations we donated in this budget. That's, that's a huge number to this city. And uh, we've got. Besides all that, we've still got appropriated $1.6 million for the park in Austin Mills. And that's where we'll have support. To, and that's not even in our fund balance. That's set aside. So, uh, we, like I say, and uh, to let y'all know, uh, we finished up with the swimming pool, but it's probably because we didn't open it, about $72,000. Uh, that's great too, and, and, and I've said this many times, I'll say it again. City Churchill has really been blessed by the good Lord. And that, it's not me, it's not the board, but he's blessed this city, and uh, I just wanna thank him for that. So, any more discussion on the budget? Tell Michael Bell, Dennis Steele. Aye. Steve Gibson. Yes. Jack Rowe. Yes. Mike Walker. Yes. Next, I have orders 20 496 Planning Commission. Sure. Uh, this was prepared by Ms. Proximate, who is uh, supremely competent. She does a great job. I don't know if Ward's aware of that, so I certainly appreciate her efforts to help with this. Um, ordinance number 20 496, an ordinance to amend the municipal zoning map of Churchill, Tennessee, for the purpose of rezoning tax map uh, 044 parcel. 004.00 from B4 Shopping Center District to B3 uh, Arterial Business District. Whereas section 13 hyphen 7 hyphen 201 through 137211 of the Tennessee Code Annotated provides the city of Churchill, Tennessee, with powers and authority to enact local municipal zoning codes. And whereas said sections provide for a process for the amendment of local municipal zoning codes. And whereas the city of Churchill, Tennessee, Board of Mayor and Alderman feel it to be in the best interest and to the best general welfare of the citizens of Churchill, Tennessee to amend the local municipal zoning codes and the zoning map. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Board of Mayor and Alderman of the city of Churchill, Tennessee, tax map 044 parcel 004 decimal 00 being shown on the map attached as Exhibit A, be rezoned from B4 to B3. Now, therefore, be it further ordained by the Board of Mayor and Alderman of the City of Churchill, Tennessee, that this ordinance shall be effective from and after its passage, the public welfare requiring. It's a pleasure. Board Ordinance 20 496. We have a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? I'd like to ask one question. Are there any wetlands on that property? And I know you were yeah. in the planning commission, you were talking about houses. Yes, so there, there is some wet drainage that comes from the adjacent property. And it is actually, that considered a wetland though? I know there's an issue with the government. I, I, don't know the, I don't know the answer to that yet. I haven't started my site plan with my engineering firm, but 
pending this board's approval. I plan to start that in the near future, and I should be able to better answer your question. I know they had some drainage uh, before Dave left that they went over and y'all looked at. I guess you met with them and all yes. that was going on. It, it drains all the way to a culvert pipe on a wet duct. That comes from the adjacent property across the property to the culvert. Any more discussion? Keith Gibson? Yes. Michael Walker? Yes. James Grigsby? Yes. Michael Bell? Linda Miller? Yes. Paul McCurry? Yes. Dennis Steele? All right. Next, have bids for access road to the new park. That's the one we're in discussion in our workshop. Mm -hmm. It is my recommendation that uh, we do not accept that bid. We are currently trying to work with some people concerning the park. So I would recommend if short term now is kind of accept that bid until we get through this. And we're going to have to have some workshops concerning that down there. So do we have a motion not to accept? Is that legal? You, you can certainly reject the bids. Okay. So how would we do that? I mean, I don't want to just... I make a motion bid be turned down. Okay. Is there a motion that second? Second. You got two seconds. Yeah. You got a third one somewhere here. <laughs> okay. Any more discussion? Ladies first. She said, ladies first. <laughs> so, uh, we have a motion second. And like I said, we're going to have some workshops on that. And Liam's working on some things. Hopefully, we'll have that in the near future. <clears throat> I, I will continue to try to get touch the trail. Sounds good. Uh, any more discussion? How about us? Dennis Steele. Ah. Tom Kerr. Yes. Linda Miller? Yes. Michael Bell? James Grigsby? Yes. Michael Walker? Yes. Keith Gibson? Yes. Uh, I'd like to announce tonight that the the seniors are going to be having a parade down Main Street on the 29th. Is that right, Vicki? Yes. And uh, it starts at 6.30. It's for their graduation. And they are going to have the parade in their own cars coming from Old Union Road into the library uh, in our facility. And then they are going to have uh, at the library like a, a, a stage that they're providing just to recognize some seniors or maybe all of them, I don't know, that they're graduating on the 29th. They've asked that. So uh, all they'll be doing is hopefully a lot of them will stay in their cars, but in that, they're probably going to do it, but like I say, it starts at 6.30 and end at 9.30. So they asked the city if we could do that, and I recommend we do do that and support the seniors because this is their final year. So uh, any more discussion? Yes, sir. Uh, Dennis Steele? Yes. Michael Walker? Yes. Michael Bell? Yes. James Grigsby? Yes. Memories is what matters, in my opinion. So that's where we're at on that. Also, we've opened up the fitness center to uh, the hours like we had before this pandemic. And uh, that seems to be working out pretty good too. So we've had a lot of positive response on that. The senior citizen, we're kindly waiting to see how it goes from across the state before it comes they're a lot closer there, and uh, mm -hmm. we, we don't know when that facility open up, and I don't even really know when the library, is. if they give you any time of day tomorrow. No. Last day I heard was they're looking at possibly doing curbside pickup mm -hmm. starting the first of June. Oh, okay. So, I guess that's it. I and, got one thing I want to bring up under new business. Okay. Uh, of course, about the park, we've got the, it's been, Excavated and ready for them to come in. They're supposed to be coming in here pretty soon. But we need to get the playground equipment and stuff bid. So I'd make well, we got to have a meeting to look at it to see what we're going to bid. You know, we agree. Well, I thought we'd already looked at things and talked about it. Mm -hmm. well, you, well, me and you were supposed to meet and look at that. We've not done that yet. So I've, I've had the books and showed it to different people, and I just thought we had talked and pretty well agreed. So all right, we will. Uh, I mean, we. I mean, after we meet, uh, of course, the board. I guess will have to vote. What What do y'all want to do on the playground equipment? 
I mean, I mean, we can do that here tonight and pull that go. I've got, the, I've got the. Do you have a picture of that last one? The one he said. Now they some pictures on my desk. You still going with two of them? Two the the one that I would recommend here's here shows one in a book. Is that Lewis and Clark? Right. That was for the two to five year old, and the other one is similar to this one right here. This one is no longer in the book, but he designed one. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to look at it. This one over here. He designed it to sort of match, actually he designed two. I think, yeah. I like this one, the little one better. Well, actually we spoke and stuff, you know, which one you talk about, this one? Yes. And yeah, what did he say the price was? That would be in around 60000 for that one. And ten or twelve for the other. Now he designed another one that was twenty. Do you remember twenty? Twenty one. The small one. It was the small one was about twenty, but it matches, and, and that's what he designed. But I don't believe it has enough as much stuff as this other one does, and it was about twelve thousand. You're looking at a total overall. How much? Uh, if we go with the one in the book, and that one about seventy two, seventy three thousand. So, I mean, could we as a board just go ahead and approve a, a limit on that and then let you all as a committee decide which ones to go with on that? Or? Well, we, we, go ahead, Keith. You know. We just got to take bids. You know, it, I, I don't know what the bid will come in at. That, that's what the guy give you his price on it. You know, if we, when we put out the bids, uh, it's just a matter of, and he said it'd take, oh, that, it'd take about two months to get it. So that's one of the reasons I want to hurry, not hurry, but go ahead and get it out to me because it is going to still take a couple months to even get it. Yeah, because we've done check. We have to wait to our next fiscal year to pay for this. Yeah, I understand that. We've done that down the schedule. But, you know, so you're saying both of them together is 70? In the 72, 73 range, yes. Well, I mean, we can put it out to bed. It doesn't necessarily mean we have to accept it, but we can put it out to bed. You know. You and him always just get together. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Let's just see if we can get together on this week. Okay. And then we can put... Yeah. We well, have can, have can, we, can we have the authority of the board if one we decide on to get it out to bed? Yeah. yeah, well, I think we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're going to give me his book back. <laughs> I thought we was going to meet. I didn't see it. And I knew you were tied up a budget. So I didn't. I was meeting you all week last week. Do we need a motion to get married? Or no. I mean, any time this week of the morning, Keith, uh, it was just miscommunication. I thought you were budget. Yeah, I, was tied up. I, I didn't, tied up I didn't call you. Huh? I was tied up all week last week. No. Do we? You know, there was something else I was going to say, but now I've lost my train of thought, which is very common for me. It's an age thing. Oh, it is? Okay. <laughs> uh, something else we talked about, about the electric company coming looking about putting power in over there. We need to schedule time to do that, too. You know, for here, where the, no, where the stage is going to be. So, you know, we're talking about waiting until after we got that property taken care of, it's secure. Then we're going to need to get, I don't know how long it'll take them to engineer it and do that too. So that'd be something else we need to look We can talk about that in our workshop. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have anything? We are a busy city, but it's positive busy. Yeah. We have not scheduled a workshop, have we? No, ma'am. We don't have one there. Okay. Uh, we will be doing a workshop concerning the parking. Okay. It's the Austin Mill. Uh, we'll have to have a workshop on that. So as soon as you find out something, I'll need to know that so we can put it in the paper. And yes, sir. And have one. Uh, would anybody here want to say anything? Give me think to, a few minutes to think what I forgot to say. <laughs> Mayor, I would say that I am glad to welcome Catherine, if you want to say it on board. And uh, a couple in the back, are they? Uh, it's my mother and my husband. Good. Glad y'all are here too. Glad y'all got to. Where's your daddy? He got tied up in a meeting. Uh, okay. <laughs>
Don't forget Bobo. If y'all not, uh, Elizabeth is our city planner. Yeah. For you all that have not met her, she took on. And uh, of course, y'all know Tip Bobo. I'm the, I'd like to express my appreciation to the board for approving uh, this meeting. Oh, okay. The board wants to be Yeah. Bring it to the table. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Should have Captain D's on there. I'm sorry. Should have Captain D's on there. Captain D's on there. I'm not the I'm not the I'm the I'm not 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 you're taking motion to adjourn. I have a second. Bobo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're always going to get So you're right. Are you, are you uh, a free will meet the rest of the week? We've got to be Thursday, Roger. Uh, I don't want to meet on Friday. Well, I'll meet you at 2 or 3 o'clock. I've got a road with my father. You want to meet Thursday, Thursday. Um, I'm still